Following his TKO loss to Larry Holmes on October 2, 1980, two physicians, including his former doctor, Ferdy Pacheco, had stated that Ali was suffering brain damage from having absorbed too many blows. When it gets to the point where a layman can see that you're slowing down and have damage to your thinking mechanism and to your speech mechanism, that's why it seems unimaginable to me why they can even license this man. His speech had slowed and was occasionally slurred. They say I'm washed up. Mm -hmm. They say I'm finished. Mm -hmm. I'm through. Mm -hmm. I got all the suckers all over. That's right. You're going to mess them up. Ali signed to fight one last time with Trevor Burbick in 1981. Burbick, a 27-year-old Jamaican fighting out of Canada, was rated fourth by the WBA and sported a 19-2 record that included 17 knockouts. I feel young, I feel good, and um, I think it's, it works so to my benefit this way. Standing 6 foot 2 and scaling a solid 218 pounds, the Canadian and Commonwealth heavyweight titleist had defeat against WBC champion Larry Holmes, who was looking to break Tommy Burns' all-time record of eight consecutive knockouts in heavyweight title fights. Ali weighted in at one of the heaviest weights of his career at 236 pounds, and the extra weight clearly translated into his plowing performance. It's always been a fun trip with Muhammad. It's always been that way and will stay that way. Ali had hoped to use this fight to earn a title bid against Mike Weaver, the World Boxing Association champ. The fight's opening seconds yielded an encouraging sign for Ali fans because in walking out of the corner, firing three soft jabs and landing with an overhand right, he already showed more life than he had in most of the Holmes bout. In round two, Burbick's steady pressure forced Ali to retreat more quickly than he wanted and his rights to the ribs during clinches inflicted damage that registered on Ali's face. Ali may have even won the third as he threw more punches and jabbed better than anyone could have hoped. Ali having a good round now, but Burbick is back out of him and he may have hurt him. Burbick has been working hard and Very hard. 
The fight was competitive enough, and Ali was doing so much better than he did against Larry Holmes. But then he got tired, and he just couldn't. He was missing the fastball, and he was not getting there in time. That third punch got in and lost three out of the line. Good enough by Oliver. That's it by Bergen. Bergen had the defense. Bergen back a little bit. Burbick drove Ali toward the ropes with a series of heavy body shots, then maintained the pressure as Ali desperately tried to fend him off with clinches and the rope a dope. Rounds 5, 6 and 7 delivered a sobering and punishing message to Ali while allowing Burbick to separate himself on the scorecards and the statistics. Burbick did his best to bull Ali and while he got in some heavy blows, Ali shook them off and got back on the road. By the last round, Ali was completely exhausted. This is history. The referee says this is it, let's go. Down. About a minute and a half left to go in the fight. He's going out all the stops. He's all over Ali. Redick dancing into action. Driving Ali. Less than a minute to go now. I'm waiting on this decision. I know I won the fight. No doubt about it. I gave him a lot of time. I shoot him off and back off instead of loading up. Unanimous decision for Trevor Burbank.
Well, there you have it. Clever perfect. 